Unconstitutional, that is what a group calls the governor's new policy that could slow down the restoration of rights of convicted felons who want to vote. Yesterday, a lawsuit was filed to block this policy. This is a copy of it filed by Gregory Williams and others. The policy is under fire from the courthouse to the statehouse in Virginia. He threw their extreme bans in the trash can. Senate pro tem Louise Lucas has figuratively and literally trashed several Yunkin proposals. She says his restoration of rights rollback is next. Oh, it is definitely headed for the trash can. We're going to go to work on that as soon as we get back. Without informing the public in advance, a decade-long policy used by Democrat and the Republican governor that essentially automatically restored some rights of felons was scrapped. Youngkin now has an application and review process. You don't see the review process as an obstruction to voting rights? No, I think the, re the review process is a a thorough individual process in order to, for people to have their full second chance. Senator Lucas, who has worked with Democrats and Republican governors on the restoration issue, says she wants the previous policy written into law. We will have bipartisan support on this because the only people who are incarcerated are not just black and brown people. The new policy is under attack from the state house to the courthouse. Thursday in Richmond Federal Court, the group No Left Turns filed a lawsuit which calls the Yunkin policy discretionary, arbitrary, and a violation of the First Amendment. In the one of only two states with voting restrictions on felons, the Senate pro tem says Yunkin is trying to burnish his conservative credentials at the expense of people who want their voices heard in state, federal, and local elections. Yes, he's trying to take us back to Jim Crow days and even farther back if he can. But if I have to follow him all over this country to make people know exactly who he is, I promise you I'll do that. Now, according to the Washington Post, last year, Mr. Yunkin restored the rights to more than 3,400 Virginians. But in recent months, he restored uh, rights for only 800 felons. Ten on your side called the governor's office for, for specifics on how his administration will determine which felons will have their rights restored. The only response? The process is constitutional and will be defended vigorously in court. I have much more on wavy.com.